I usually, before I buy anything big like this, I usually look up on YouTube and look at some reviews and some personal opinions on some things, but apparently this is brand new to Harbor Freight. It's a Harbor Freight Viking 12 volt jump starter, plus the built-in air compressor. It's one of their more expensive things that they have there as far as power packs go. Um, I think it was like 180 bucks, but I got some discounts with my uh, membership and uh, using the uh, Harbor Freight card. But you can take a quick look like at it there and uh, pause it, check out some of the features. Um, this warning is all over the place. So you have to make sure this thing is completely charged or it voids the warranty. And uh, which I always get the two year warning on all my Harbor Freight stuff just so I can take it back and get a uh, brand new one every two years, with no questions asked. Um, always real handy. Um, here's the unit itself that I just unboxed it. It's super heavy, built well, um, hard plastic case. Uh, weighs about 25 pounds, I think. Uh, real nice two gauge wires or cables on the uh, clamps. Um, clamps are easy to get a hold of. I haven't even taken the cardboard off of them yet. But uh, like I say, you can pause it again. There's the uh, the front panel, nothing. Um, the USB opens up here, the USB charger. And it's a 2.4, it charged my uh, iPhone in a heartbeat, um, 12 volt outlet. Uh, this is your main switch when you're gonna get ready to uh, actually jump start a vehicle. Um, like I say, there's your warranty again, uh, your warning again. There's another warning. Um, another thing, I'll uh, just get a good screenshot of this. Like I say, you can pause it if you wanna read through it a little closer so i'll probably just leave this attached to the unit until it falls off um, on the back here you have your access panel for your air compressor they've got some little fittings in there for you air compressor attachment comes out of there um, your standard little small pump there's your uh, digital display gauge. Um, one of the things that I don't like is here is where your charge cable goes in. It's just a little regular two prong 120 volt. And this disconnects and there's nowhere to store it with the unit. So you're gonna have to keep up with your charge cable, keep it in the shop or whatever. I may try to tie mine off on the handle somewhere, but I'll we'll set this guy over there. All right, and this is something that I do like. It's a definite perk. This is the uh, switch that actually powers on and off the unit, which is built with a real sturdy safety uh, protector for the uh, on-off switch. Um, I like the nice little added safety feature there. But we're going to go ahead and turn this on. You can hear the uh, cooling fans kick on automatically. All right, let's take a look at the front here. Get a little shadow. We're out in the sunlight today. But uh, this button here, you hit it, it turns on your uh, your USB charging abilities. Also your 12 volt with that one. If the same one, it's got the light and USB. If you hold it down, the LEDs come on. And they're super bright. Tried it in the dark last night. It worked really well. Um, bump it again. Let's try it again here. Okay. Just bump it again. It dims. Strobes. Uh, has an SOS feature. And then to go ahead and turn those lights off, you hold that button back down. Or it'll make a liar out of me. There we go. Ah. Maybe that's off. Okay, just hit it once. It'll go off, all right. Same thing over here is you click it once. It tests everything. It's 100% charged, 12.9 volts. So it's indicating over there. And you hold this guy down. Should turn on the air compressor.
Maybe not. We'll uh, get back to that later. Yeah, there we go. I lied. It did turn on the air com air compressor. Um, you can set your uh, PSI levels as well on this guy. Sorry, not a very good videographer there. See what happens this when I turn on the charge switch. Nothing resets it. Okay, that's what that means. That guy there, what it indicates is the compressor is up to run. All right, clicked it and everything went off. All right, we're gonna test it again. turn it back off okay so now what we're gonna do this is a old 98 Ford Triton V8 it's set here through the cold snap I know this battery is terrible at keeping a charge you can see what kind of shape it's in it's all nice and corroded up this battery should have been junked a long time ago but this isn't one of our primary vehicles so we don't drive it it's not a daily driver so we just try to maintain it which I didn't come out and start it during the cold weather. So now the battery is super dead. As you can see here, the cables are fairly long. Uh, they look like they're about four or five inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back over here, shut my safety switch off. All right, here's my positive guy. Get a good grab yeah these things are super tight so they should be able to get a good good bite on just about anything all right make sure you take those little cardboard guys out grab your clamps all right this guy's about the same length you can tell because i'm just laying it over and wrapping them around make absolutely sure that i got my this is my ground, which it is. And I'm not even sure there's so much rust on these posts and stuff that I'm gonna get a great, let me switch in guys, that I'm gonna get a great connection, but we're gonna see. All right, this is still off. I'm gonna show you real quick the disc truck is dead 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 the, the key is in the ignition there's no dome light the door's not dinging no uh no gauge response whatsoever so now we're gonna give this a go see if this thing really has juice all right Come back here to our safety door. Power back up. Got a decent bite there, bite there. But like I say, those cables are pretty rusty. Low volts. Okay, so see, since I got it. On there, what is, what's that saying? Crap, like one volt. That thing is dead, dead, dead. All right, so what I'm gonna do is we just powered that up, 12.8 volts. You can tell now my work light's on. I've got dinging, I've got a dome light, and let's see. Let my fuel pump go for a little while. I think it's been setting about three months. Here we go. <laughs> This old Ford's a beast, sitting here through all of that. So see now, you can also see that our alternator is putting out 14.8 volts. So I'm gonna call this bad boy a win. I've got the switch off so we're isolated, but it's still reading what my alternator's putting out, which is a really cool feature I didn't know I was gonna have. So guys, 
as far as I'm concerned, what I'm seeing so far, if you're looking for something that'll start a, a dead vehicle, the Harbor Freight Viking 12 volt jump starter plus air compressor, I think it's a good buy with all the extra features and stuff like that, plus the uh, it being able to monitor and read your volts. I mean, you could even take this guy out with that volt output indicator and it can tell you if your alternator's really putting out enough. So I'm gonna give this thing an A plus so far. Uh, we'll see if it breaks or busts. I'll uh, do another video. Thanks guys.